how's it? I'm Andy Cohen and you're watching the Dell 7. This is our second installment and it's jam-packed with thiamin, niacinamide, riboflavin and five essential vitamins and minerals. All the necessary components of a good, healthy breakfast. Finally, a reason for Twitter to exist. This will make all Jewish mothers very, very happy. And we know that's what all nice Jewish boys like to do. Please, their mommies. That, and bring home a nice Jewish girl, of course. So watch this, and I'll get on to the next item. You've tried Twitter. You've kept your friends and followers updated about every waking moment of your day, only to realize nobody cares. Stop wasting your time. Use the Twitter that targets the one person who actually wants to hear about your day. Twiddle up. Twitter for your Jewish mother. So this guy is probably single. I mean, he's a composer who plays his compositions as well as classical music at McDonald's. Like, actually travels from one McDonald's to another around the world playing Beethoven and Mozart. Awful unkosher food. Classical music. A match made in heaven, right? I'll have a Big Mac fries and a cider bach. I mean, who comes up with this stuff? Classical music is taking over a local McDonald's. Piano composer and player Andrew Shapiro traveled from New York City to downtown San Diego to play inside a McDonald's today. Shapiro was looking for a more casual venue to play his original work. Tanya Papini from Heave magazine brought a rather shocking story to light. She revealed a recent controversial fashion shoot for the EasyJet in-flight magazine, which had models posing at Berlin's Holocaust Memorial. The publisher tried to defend the images, saying they were supposed to raise awareness and encourage passengers to visit for themselves. Seriously? Skinny, underfed fashion models posing at a Holocaust memorial? What were they thinking? Did you ever want a car that could fly? Well, no longer do you need to get high and watch the Jetsons, because by 2014, there's going to be one. Okay, so it's only meant for search and rescue operations, but a hover car that goes 155 miles per hour and can make sharp turns and land in caverns is just damn cool. And it's better than any helicopter out there. So if you fall off a cliff, you can count on rescue in style. Assuming you're not, you know, dead of course. The one year old Chicago native Jeremy Helsch was on his way to a glamorous career in the music industry, working at Sony Music and Columbia Records in the States. He stunned colleagues a few years ago when he announced that he was moving to Israel to make Israeli musicians famous worldwide. I'd like to welcome in studio with us today, Jeremy. Hey, Jeremy, thank Hi. you so much for joining us. Great to be here. Please take a yes. seat. So, job at Columbia Records and Sony. You threw it all away to come to Israel. Are you crazy? Well, yeah, I guess so. Uh, <laughs> anyone who moves to Israel has got to be a little bit crazy, right? Slightly, for yeah. sure. Um, yeah, well, there, there's your answer, I guess, right? You're slightly crazy. Slightly and crazy. has it worked out for you? How's this? Look, Israel's not an easy place to live. Uh, what uh, I'm doing right now is incredible because we are inspiring the entire music, music community and musician community uh, in doing some amazing things, nurturing uh, up hundreds of uh, youth musicians and getting them abroad, getting them on the radar of mm -hmm. uh, big labels, getting them in CNN and BBC and Rolling Stone and MTV and so Fantastic. it has worked out, yeah. And this is off of your own record label that you've started here? Yeah? This is off of uh, Ole Records. Uh, I'm the architect and the founder of Ole Records. It's a non-for-profit organization actually. Awesome. Okay. Uh, our goal is to support uh, the music industry here. We're sort of like Israel's music export Fantastic. organization. Fantastic. And yeah. do you represent anyone that our audience would know? Uh, possibly. It, it depends. You know, there's a, a billion artists out there. Uh, the artists that we represent cover multiple genres of mm -hmm. uh, music. So we have a hip-hop act uh, called Cool Lush. Uh, we have a, a punk pop act called uh, Useless ID, Carolina Reggae, uh, Amiram Inc. Uh, he's uh, sort of like a singer-songwriter. Uh, we support artists uh, directly and we also support artists that we're not directly affiliated with. Right. Our goal is really to see that everyone succeeds abroad. 
So if you guys want to watch the full interview, please click on the link. Otherwise, continue with us onto our next item. Don't you just love computer geeks? Meet Oren Zuckerman, an MIT graduate and digital media innovator. In 2001, he was recognized as a technology pioneer and since then has been doing truly remarkable things. Liddell's own Emily Katz went to meet him and found out exactly what's brewing in that mind of his. We created this interactive piece together that uh, she is like a video marionette in a way. Then whenever you speak or sing or make any type of sound into the microphone, the video marionette starts to dance. And first of all, she wakes up and rolls into the stage and starts to dance. And if you continue to sing to her or to talk to her to, or to make any type of sound, she's going to dance, you know, infinitely, just, you know, improvise and improvise, but really within a loop. <laughs> What's it like to be Jewish in Sweden? Pure comedy if you ask Aaron Flam and Jonathan Unje. Nothing is sacred in the view of this pair and all is done in the pursuit of laughter. Here's another Liddell produced piece of perfection. If you're wondering why I'm not blonde and blue eyed right, like the rest of the Swedish population it's because I'm Jewish. Yes, I know what you're thinking. That I have a huge cock and rhythm in my blood. That's not true. I can't dance. No, that's not what they say about us Jews. What they say is that we control the world. So that's my day job. Let's just hope nothing goes to hell while I'm away from the office. I had to go to the bathroom just for a quickie a year ago or so, and we had a global financial meltdown. But I think I know why people are so annoyed with us Jews. It's because we're God's chosen people. That's all, folks. It's Thursday night, and I'm on my way to a night of frolic and decadence in the city that never sleeps. And I don't mean New York. I mean my current residence, Hell Aviv. Send us your feedback to 7 at Liddell.net and log on to our website. For Liddell 7 News on the go, download our updated iPhone application or subscribe to our tri-weekly podcast. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook us, or add us to your Mebo account. Oh, and don't forget the Jews That Do contest. There's a shiny MacBook Pro waiting for somebody. Yalla, guys. Ciao. Thank <laughs> you.